Hello my lovely ravens, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantelle and today I'm creating a miniature wedding cake from the movie Corpse Bride. Let's get started. First of all, let's get all the tools together. I have a special mold here that is for bones that I will be using for the cake and some cornstarch for release and my tools for sculpting the polymer clay as well as some shapes for cutting the cake and of course the polymer clay itself and a rolling pin. I'm going to start off by making a whole bunch of bones for the cake. I'm going to brush the cornstarch inside the mold so it will release the clay more easily. This will not affect the baking at all if there's any cornstarch left on your clay. Corpse Bride is a 2005 stop-motion animated musical dark fantasy film directed by Mike Johnson and Tim Burton. The plot is set in a fictional Victorian era village in England. Johnny Depp leads the cast as voice of Victor, while Helena Bonham Carter voices Emily, the titular bride. Corpse Bride is the third stop-motion feature film produced by Tim Burton and the first directed by him. The previous two films, The Night Before Christmas and James and the Giant Peach, were directed by Henry Selick. Then next I'm going to create the actual cake. I am starting with these, they are basically cookie cutter shapes that I got from AliExpress, and some tin foil and I'm going to put the tin foil inside the shapes so I'm, I can build from there and then up. So I'm filling a shape with this tin foil, wrap masking tape around it to keep it all together and so I can layer the polymer clay on top of it and then layer two shapes on top of each other for one tier of the cake. This cake has a lot of skulls as well, as you could see in the reference picture in the beginning of, the, of this video. I am going to create some little balls and from those little balls I am sculpting little skulls to place on top of the cake. This is also the first stop motion feature from Burton that was distributed by Warner Brothers Pictures. It was dedicated to executive producer Joe Ranft who died in a car crash during production. Composer Danny Elfman originally wrote the part for Bojangles, looking for another musician to sing it, but after failing to find a voice that fit, director Tim Burton asked Elfman if he could sing it. The puppets created for this film were 25 to 28 centimeters tall, which is 9.8 to 11 inches tall. And some of the stages were so large that the animators could fit through the set doors with minimal crouching. Back to the cake. I am rolling out a sheet of polymer clay. This is a Super Sculpey original. And I'm going to wrap the entire cake in this polymer clay. Before I put the clay on, I am putting translucent Sculpey or Bake and Bond on top of the shape so the clay will stick to the shape. Multiple identical puppets had to be created so that more scenes could be accomplished in a shorter period. In all, 14 puppets of the bride and Victor were created and 13 were created of Victoria. Now that the base shape of the cake is baked, I can put on the decorations of the cake. The puppets were made from stainless steel armatures covered with silicon skin. For some of the bones, the bones in the top tier, I had to cut them in the middle and then join them again because they were a little bit too tall. After the bones, I can put on these skulls and just attaching them with some translucent sculpey before baking the whole thing in the oven again. Emily uses the word hopscotch. In the Marcus Zusak novel, The Book Thief, she uses the same word and Emily Watson was in the movie adaptation as well as voicing Victoria. As a little finishing touch, I have these 
tiny, tiny figurines that are also used for my matchboxes. I think it's somewhere between 140th and 160th scale. So really, really tiny. And I placed them on top before I baked the cake in the oven. And then obviously this whole thing needs to be white. So I had to put on three layers of white and then adding in the details with black. In the beginning of the movie, Victor, voiced by Johnny Depp, released a captive butterfly through a window. Johnny Depp's character, Ichabod Crane, does something similar in Sleepy Hollow from 1999, when he releases a caged cardinal out of his bedroom window. Victor and Emily pass a butterfly when they arrive in the land of the living. At the end, when Victor lets Emily go, she becomes a swarm of butterflies. All the butterflies have the same color palette as Emily. This symbolizes Victor giving Emily her freedom. Let's see what the final cake looks like. And this is it for this video. It was a little bit of a shorter one, but it was really fun to create. I wanted to let you know that my website with a shop is now live. The link can be found in the description box below if you're interested. All my social media can also be found there. And if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And of course, become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.